Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I am going to be teaching you a midnight margaritas. Woo -woo. Anybody like um, Practical Magic? Is anybody on here Practical Magic fans? So let me go ahead and change something really quick, and then I'm actually going to, I want you to be able to just type a link if you want to get access to know about the fall ball. Hey Arlene, it's good to see you on here. Okay, so I'm gonna be painting Midnight Margaritas. How many of y'all on here are Practical Magic fans? Um, if you are, let me know. I'm going to, where'd my plate go? Hold on. And I wanted to just, before I kind of signed off for this weekend, I wanted to just give y'all one last chance to get into the fall ball, okay? So you are officially invited to the fall ball. Hey, Lynn, hey guys. So you can um, type link, it should work. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited you are here. Okay, let me know if that works. Now I'm going to use this piece of scrapbook that says focus, focus. Uh, that's funny, because it's like hocus pocus, but focus, focus, and it's practical magic. And then what I did is whenever you order the canvases, is you get this like little thing right here and what you get is like sometimes I'll draw my ideas so you're gonna see here in a minute I'm gonna take you over to my cutter machine and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna actually freehand the margarita and the umbrellas so please give me some grace if you <laughs> if you are watching me for the first time oh good the links working awesome and please give me some grace if you're watching for the first time and then also sharing is caring. So for those of y'all that are doing um, sprinkle in the love, as my friend Tamara Bennett says, I will be picking one person to um, send a gift card to. I love, love sharing um, fun gift cards, either to Starbucks or Michael's, so I'll pick one person. Just make sure you let me know. Oh, thank you, Margie. She says, first time watching and sprinkling. Yes, thank you. So yes, if you don't mind sprinkling the love, that'd be great. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna have a couple of lines here. So the reason I'm going live with y'all today is I want to not only take you through the process of me using my cutter machine, so you're gonna kinda see behind the scenes of that, um, but I'm also going to take you through the process of using this. So actually I may want to, ah, I may want to do that first. Okay, hold on, y'all might get some, um, dark behind the scenes here not not dark but like because i won't have lighting on me so i'm going to show you real quick so i have a u.s cutter some of y'all have crickets how many of y'all have crickets or silhouettes this is actually a giant cutter i'm actually going to be buying a cricket or a silhouette soon and um, because i want to let me see if i can make this change there we go um, I want to experiment a little bit with that, but this is going to be loud for just a second. So I'm going to hit cut. Midnight margarita. Oh, I want it to say midnight margaritas. Hold on. So I'm going to go back, add an S to this. Midnight margaritas. Oh, good. People, a lot of people have a cricket. What about a silhouette? I've been going back and forth. I've heard good and bad about both. Um, mostly good things about all of it. Okay, so let me cut this real quick because I don't want to get my lines wrong. And if I get my lines wrong, so this might be a little loud, okay? So for those of you that don't like loud noises, just be ready, okay, in case it gets a little loud. But I want to show you the whole process of me cutting it. And because a lot of y'all coming into the fall ball, you're getting five SVGs, five commercial SVGs that you can use with your Cricut or you can use with your silhouette, or if you have a different kind of cutter. Um, this one, again, like I said, because I do a lot of big parties, I use this one, but I'm actually gonna try a different one. And then I just use the US, the Vinyl Master Cut that they have. It's just, you know, something real, what, the, what comes with it. I probably could have made this go a little faster, but we're gonna let it cut, and then I'll show you how I pick it, and then I'll also show you how I apply this to my artwork. So you can see, 
It's doing its thing. Oh good, Andrea says she has both. Let's see, she has both a Cricut and a Silhouette. Which one do you like better? And then I have some tools back here to actually pick it. I like the, the dental tools that are sharper. Way, way easier to use. Oh, and I need to get my, um, hold on y'all. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, look, Blue's ready. He's ready for the paint party. You getting ready for the fall ball, Blue? <laughs> He's getting ready. And y'all can see I have, I have my stands, I have my phone, an iPad, and even my laptop. So those of y'all that are doing more stuff online, it's, a, it's just something I wanted y'all to see behind the scenes. Okay, so I have my X-Acto knife. Oh, good. Oh, a lot of y'all have two. That's very, very interesting. Sometimes you find people that have both, or they have one or the other, but a lot of times you don't find, you don't find people who have two. This is one of my favorite paintings I did years ago. I made a mistake on this painting. I was making kind of like a self-portrait all in one color, like monochromatic. And then I dropped like white paint on her face and I was so upset about it. And then I decided to turn it into a piece of hair. And so I've used it for years saying, hey, if you make a mistake, turn it into something new. And I actually think it looks more interesting because of the, the hair in front of her face. Okay, so I'm gonna hit enter and then I'm going to move it. It's gonna be loud, so hold your ears. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta do this. Hold on, let me, let me just see if I can set y'all here where y'all can see it, cause I gotta do something. Hold on. Oh, I know what it is. We pick this up, the, the stuff, and it's not. Cause I have, I have to have a new roll on there. That's why. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this. And I'm just gonna bring it back. Select, enter, okay. So I'm gonna turn that off. Guys, just get in the habit of your cutter. I hope you can see me, if not, <laughs> listen. Just get in the habit of always covering your cutter up um, just whenever you're done, because I, I was really in the habit of not doing that. Okay, let me put y'all back on the stand and I'll show you how I do the next part, okay? So bear with me, I'm gonna try to make it not look like a Blair Witch Project. Hold on. Oh, and there's the paintings we're doing for the fall ball that's happening on um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we have lots of prizes. So if you want to be a part of the fall ball, again, I'm trying not to Blair Witch, y'all. And if you want to be a part of the fall ball, then go ahead and um, let me change this around. Um, here I am. Um, if you want to be a part of the fall ball, make sure you click or you type in the word link. Okay, so let me change this again. Okay, so I have this right here. I wanna, dang it! Look what I just did. Crap. I just stuck, <laughs> stuck my vinyl and my hand in all of the black paint I was about to use. Okay, give me one sec. I'm sorry, y'all. If you're new to me, I apologize. <laughs> Give me one second. Um, I wish I could say I normally wasn't this much of a mess, but that's not true. This is normal. <laughs> this is pretty normal. So I just want to say thanks for your patience and give me just a second and I will get this all ready to go. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is if you've never used a cutter before, it's simple. And um, there, there is a, a little bit of a learning curve. And I'm gonna zoom in on this because this part, my hands are like totally covered in paint. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, I don't know why it's not letting me zoom in. But um, this part is really therapeutic. So if you've never like done this part of it, I don't know why I like it so much. I think for my crazy brain, sometimes it's just like a simple task that can that can just make me 
just kind of tune out, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna show you the process of how I use an SVG, which is what, you'll get five commercial SVGs. What that means for commercial, if you're like, I don't know what that means. That means that you could actually use these SVGs during the fall ball and create something and sell it and actually make money from it. So for those of y'all that, you know, you just want to come to the fall ball for the painting, you totally, totally should do that. Um, Candy says you should come work in my sign shop. <laughs> you would you would fire me in five seconds as messy as I am <laughs> That would be fun. We'd have a lot of fun for sure We'd have a lot of laughs, but yeah, you would probably fire me in five seconds because I'm a I'm a very very messy person and um, so yeah, so in addition to me teaching you the paintings and um, you'll have access to five SVG so that's why I really wanted to show y'all a little bit about the SVG process during me doing this practical magic painting for y'all. So, um, so if you've never seen practical magic, I know sometimes people um, have not seen the movie and I'm like, wait, what? It's one of my favorite fall movies. I watch it pretty much every year and, and I just love it. It has Sandra Bullock in it, Nicole Kidman, and, and it's just, I don't know, every time I watch it, I just, like, it just makes me want to, like, get my pumpkins out, all of that fun stuff. Candy says, no, we would all laugh. <laughs> okay, good. You're my kind of people. <laughs> you would laugh. You're my kind of people because this is my, my daily life. Like, when I do, especially as I do paint parties, I just run around with, with painted hands all the time. Okay, so I am picking this out. If you're doing this for... An event or you're doing this for yourself and you have a bunch of them I recommend just um, getting a lot of um, just you know kind of having like maybe a really great Hallmark movie playing or you know something you're trying to catch up on and um, you know just or some good music you know if you want to put some praise music on or you want to um, listen to a good podcast anything like that so you can just do this while you're doing something else. I always feel like when I'm doing this, if I have music on or something else, it just makes it all better. Okay, so Midnight Margaritas. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to take the um, transfer paper. Now you can use dollar store paper. Oh, I think I already brought it over. Um, I'm gonna kind of show y'all on the floor over here because it's just easier for me. So just bear with me. Um, blue is hanging out, so we're going to just kind of, let's move blue. Blue, blue's just hanging out. Y'all want to see blue? He's so cute, isn't he? He's so cute. Okay, so blue's just hanging out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this, and we're going to put this on the floor so I don't, we're going to try not to slice my legs open, but apparently we did something with glue, and we trapped glue in these. So that is why that just happened. Oh my gosh, <laughs> could this get more disastrous? I don't know. Okay, so now, let's see. Okay, good. I don't have any more black paint on this one, so we can put it on the floor. So what I'm gonna do, and again, you can use, this is, um, I'm using an Oracle 813, but you could use um, whatever you want as far as what vinyl you like. Blue does not like that sound, so he's running. And then I'm gonna put this on here, and again, you could use contact paper. So you don't have to do like this kind of transfer paper, you could just use contact paper if you wanted. And I'm gonna cut this around, and again, guys, thank you all, those of y'all that are sprinkling the love, we're gonna pick one person, just make sure you let us know to um, send a gift card to. So I just wanna say thank you so much for that. We really appreciate y'all when you do that. You have no idea. Okay. All right. So now the next step. So that just took half a second, right? It was real quick. So what I like to do is just cut it like this. Just get it kind of close to the letters. And if I don't see your comments, guys, Remember, just type link if you want more information about the fall ball. Um, and if I don't see your comments, we're gonna try to go back through and answer any questions if I miss something, okay? 
So um, just bear with me because I want to make sure I'm able to, to show you this and teach you this. And I just kind of do this to get the, the Oracle 813 vinyl with that, okay? And this is just the, a painting I'm making because I love practical magic, so I just wanted to make something fun. All right, so we're going to have midnight about right here. I'm actually going to put the words on first, and then I will paint over it, okay? All right, so now all I have to do is turn this over and use, use my fingernails, or if you have a friend who has some fingernails, and I'm just peeling off the back. Okay, peeling off the back. And then once I peel off the back, I need to make sure there's no blue pieces on there. If there's blue pieces, that means I did something wrong. So I'm gonna line this up. Let me make sure y'all can see me. Line this up. I just use my fingernails a little bit. Oh, Karen, thank you. Yeah, I was I was gonna have all this part done first, and I was like, you know what? I think y'all might. Let me know if y'all like to see this part of the process. Oh, and Shelly says Practical Magic is her favorite movie. Oh, I just love it. Like when I want to feel like I need to decorate for fall, that's the movie I want to watch. And the Midnight Margaritas. I don't drink anymore, but. That is one of my favorite parts. Like every time, the lime and the coconut. Like I just love that part of the movie so much. Like Midnight Margaritas! Remember that part? <laughs> so fun. Oh, and for those of y'all that, um, that again are new to me, if you have not signed up for the fall ball, we start on Tuesday. So you still have plenty of time to go to Walmart, the Dollar General, the Dollar Store, and grab your supplies. And we have over 2,000 people that have already signed up for the fall ball. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna be teaching you the Witches Be Crazy as well as um, the Owl. So I'm gonna be teaching you two paintings. And then on day three, those of y'all that are interested in learning a little bit more about Facebook ads to maybe help your business to do, you know, maybe you want to, to sell some stuff, you know, crafty um, over the next few months or maybe even longer. Remember, I need it clear. Um, make sure you check out day three because it's only $10 to join this challenge, but I'm telling you, just day three, I mean, the first two days is just all about paint party. But day three is, if you're interested at all, like I promise you $10 is well worth your, just for day three alone, besides the fun we're gonna have. And I have, um, actually I have a grand prize. So um, I'm gonna be giving away three gift cards for different creative ways to do the paintings. And then I'm actually giving away an Archon mount. So all of these phones that you see, iPads that are being held up, by these Archon stands, they're like 100 to $150. I'm gonna be mailing one of you um, a grand prize. You're actually gonna get a free Archon stand for me. So, um, so yeah, so type link if you want more details about that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm pulling this off. As you can see, I have to pull it sideways, almost like I'm turning the page of a book, not like that, but pulling it very, very horizontal. If not, it can come up. Yeah, those stands are so cool. I agree with you. I use them for everything. I have one, two, three right now pointed at me with my daughter's phone on time lapse, my um, iPad over here filming it um, horizontally so we can have it for a YouTube video, and then I have it here filmed for y'all so we can have it um, vertically. So yes, we love those. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my stenciling on. Let me have a seat. Since Blue got out of my seat, I can get in here now. Oh good, Angel's excited about the Archon mount. Yeah, I'm gonna pick one of y'all for the Archon mount. Um, and oh no, 
please don't leave your stencil daubers without being in the, the water. Dang it, I hate it when I do that. I'll use it for a project and I'll forget and then I ruin it. So I'm gonna use it, this is just a Martha Stewart. I get this at Michael's. It's just a Martha Stewart um, dauber. So I'm just gonna up and down. Oh, Victoria, I always think of Victoria. She's one of my Paint Party Headquarter members. She always says, Heidi, offload. Heidi offload. So that basically means just dab it, then dab it off, and then I'm just going to go right on top. And for time's sake, so y'all don't have to, to be here forever watching me, and hopefully you hopefully you like watching <laughs> watching me paint, but for time's sake, I'm going to kind of do it fast so y'all can see me freehand. Um, actually, we're going to see if I can freehand a margarita glass in front of y'all and see if I can handle the pressure and it doesn't look like crap so that's that's going to be to be determined so whenever i do the stencil y'all and um, i always take it off immediately i do not wait especially with canvas i don't wait because then especially if i'm doing all this at one time it can pull up the other paint so i want to make sure I don't pull up all the other paints. So this is a this is a um, piece of canvas. I'm actually going to teach you during the challenge how to make your canvas look like wood. So make sure. And um, oh, and she says, how do we get into the group once we paid? And you should immediately get an email. So here's how it works. Type link. Then once you pay the ten dollars, it's going to send you an email, and also on the thank you page, it's going to say click here to join this certain Facebook group. Now, if you, for some reason, did not get that, yeah, this is canvas, it's not wood. Um, if you, for some reason, did not get that, you're gonna need to email support at paintpartyheadquarters.com, and then we are going, I'm gonna pick this out in a second. We are going to look up, make sure you send your email that you paid with, okay? Because right now, like I said, we have over 2,000 people that have signed up for the fall ball. Thank you so much for all of y'all that have already signed up. And um, so we have some really, really fun stuff happening and we start on Tuesday. So give us some grace, especially if you're watching this this weekend. Um, oh, thank you. Is that, oh, Cloma, thank you for sprinkling the love. Um, so make sure, you know, you give us some grace as we're trying to get you in. And then in the announcements, you're going to see every single thing you need for supplies and you do not have to buy the exact supplies you can totally totally use what you have like be scrappy you know i always talk about like when i started my my paint parties like okay so one of my first things i ever painted i painted a dresser i used a freaking toothbrush to paint that dresser like i didn't have a paintbrush i'm not i'm not saying go use a toothbrush i'm just saying you can, you can use, like I used a toothbrush and painted this dresser. And so, um, so you know, just because I have certain colors and actually we're, we're doing the contest where, you know, somebody paints on something besides canvas. Like I'm picking winners on different creativity. Somebody who paints the witch's dress different, you know, things like that. So um, be scrappy, use the 50 cent paint from Walmart. You do not have to um, go all crazy and, and get everything off of an Amazon list or, you know, especially if it's more expensive. Okay, so I'm using, this is from Harbor Freight. It's just the dental tool. You really, really want the dental tools. Um, oh, thank you, Stephanie, for um, sharing. Um, you really want the dental tools that are sharp, okay, because you're going to be able to stab through and pull and again for those y'all watching this is on canvas so you're you will if you're doing this stuff on wood you will have a better um i gotta stand up i gotta be able to see it if you're doing this on wood you will have sharper crisper lines but i'm showing you on canvas and then of course the fall ball you're gonna have the option you could do it on a jean jacket you can do it on anything you want and then we also have the option if you want to order the wood pieces so that it's like already on a piece of wood, you can do that as well. But, um, but I want y'all to be prepared on Tuesday because basically in that fall ball group, again, if you're unsure what I'm talking about, type link and then you can see. 
Um, but in that fall ball group, I want you to um, have it ready. So for example, like this is what we're gonna be painting. These are the two things I'm gonna teach you to paint, the witches be crazy and the owl, the hootable harvest. But when you show up, and it says all of this in announcements, when you show up, I teach you how to basically get it traced. So it's already traced and ready. And I teach you all of that inside the group, okay? So it's ready to go because it isn't, this isn't a, a paint party where it's a hardcore, you know, drawing lesson, no. I want you to like invite your, your family over, paint with your sister, your mom, whoever you want. And yes, if they're in your same house, you only have to pay the one $10. You don't have to pay, oh my gosh, I have six people watching. No, you can just pay one $10 and you can all watch. And then if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you know that you get this for free. So any of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, in our group, you have a link to where it automatically approves you. So make sure you're not paying that. Hey, and um, Pixie, yeah. can you please um, find an extension cord and have this iPad plugged in? It's about to go dead. Thank you so much. I don't know where the, there may be an extension cord. Maybe this you could pull up and bring it over here. I just don't want to miss this. Um... Oh, okay, good. Okay, so I'm not going to ruin this. So I'm gonna put this inside my water cup. And then now I'm gonna freehand, attempt to freehand a margarita and a couple of practical magic umbrella looking things so that we can see if I can, if I can handle the pressure. <laughs> Let's see if I can handle the pressure. Who thinks I can do it? Anybody? Anybody have some faith? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I'll see. Do what? Oh, you have faith in me? Bobby has faith in me. I'm going to freehand it. Um, uh, what am I freehanding? Margarita. I actually drew one. I drew one here just so I could see it. And then I drew one on a piece of paper, but I don't know where my paper went. I had a little example. It's always good to kind of have, if you're drawing something freehand, to kind of just, oh, here it is, to kind of just draw it on a piece of paper, you know, so you can kind of see what you're wanting to do, what you're wanting to accomplish. Oh, thank you, Becky. Thank you, Karen. Pamela. Oh, good. Okay, good. Thank y'all, because I'm a little nervous, to be honest. When I, when I paint a painting, especially for like Paint Party Headquarters, I always um, like get it really good and right before I share it. So sometimes when I'm doing stuff just live and I'm creating live, um, yeah, it does have a certain, certain, um, not risk factor, but, but it has a certain like nervousness that I'm here in front of all of y'all. Um, let's see, how do I sign up without paying as I'm in Paint Party Headquarters? Oh, um, Sheree, if, you already sign, if you're already a Paint Party Headquarters member, go to the announcements in Paint Party Headquarters. So all of y'all that are in Paint Party Headquarters, go to the announcements in Paint Party Headquarters, and we have um, a link for you to go directly to the fall ball group. Those of you that are new and you're ready to, to be a part of this fall ball, just type link and you'll be able to see all the details. Okay. Let's get started. I'm gonna do my my um, margarita glass first, and then I'm going to draw in some. Can y'all see this okay? I'm gonna do margarita glass first, and then I'm gonna draw in some some umbrellas. Okay, I might be quiet for a minute. If y'all wanna y'all wanna talk amongst yourselves for a second. So I can concentrate. <laughs> so I can concentrate on the the ellipse that I'm doing. Oh, um, Lori says I've seen you freehand harder things. Yes. The only thing that's kind of a little difficult with this one is, and actually it works better if you take a piece of paper and draw it and then cut it in half because a a margarita glass is very it's very symmetrical, right? And so sometimes. 
I kind of shoot myself in the foot because if I was to do that, I could actually make it way better symmetrical if I did half of it first. Oh good, I think I'm okay. That's the hardest part. And then I'm gonna add, I'm just doing this in green now, but I'm gonna add something to it in a minute. So don't worry y'all, some updates are coming. I just wanna, what did I do there? Hold on. Okay, now I can bring this in. Okay, so let me get a bigger brush so I can fill it in. Oh, thank y'all. Yeah, um, if you've never painted live before, which I encourage all my PPH, oh look, I was just talking about painting with a toothbrush. Apparently I still do that. Um, <laughs> if you've never painted live before, I highly recommend you do it. Not only because it's a lot of fun, um, especially if you've, you know, been quarantined for a long time or you're at the house or you haven't left for a while. It's really fun because, you know, I know that, you know, I'm, I know that I'm talking to you on it just feels like you're here with me. So it's really fun for that. And then also for those of y'all that are wanting to get more comfortable and actually turn your paint parties and your paint parties online or whatever it is into a business. Um, going live on Facebook, I promise you, is going to be, as scary as it is the first few times, is going to be the best thing you can do. And I, I always tell my Paint Party Headquarter girls, I'm like, don't waste this time, you know, um, for being fearful. Don't waste this time, of, you know, because you're scared that you decide not to go Facebook Live, not to do a Facebook Live, because, um, you never know. You just never know when things change, you know? And then you're gonna be like, oh, I remember back in 2020 when we could go Facebook Live at any time. And then we, did, we couldn't, you know? Like, why didn't I take advantage when I could have, you know? So I was trying to sound like I was 98. I don't know if it worked. <laughs> I don't know if it worked. Okay, so let's see. Oh, maybe like, this way. As we are watching you paint sideways. Yeah, let me see. I don't know if I can, I can do it this way. Will this help? There we go. I'll paint sideways so you can see it that way. So now we're gonna get real tricky. We're gonna see, that might, that might help a little bit. Let me know if you'd like this, this way better. And actually, I could probably do this too. Does that help? I'm gonna use some of my, yep, just painted the, the iPad cord. Oops. Just painted the iPad cord. Is that better? Let me know if that is, if that's better. Yeah, I'm about to be using a program that's gonna have like half, kinda like my friend Tamara does and Casey, where it shows my face on one part of it and it shows the painting on another part so i think that might help some too so that's coming i promise that'll probably help some of those issues okay so we have the margarita i'm going to paint in a lime i'm going to use a hint of let me find a little bit of a darker green and then again as you come on make sure if you want to know more about the fall ball, just type link. Okay, so I'm using a Hauser dark green, and then I also used a yellow green and a festive green. Okay, so I'm using, I'm getting a little crazy with my greens here. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit of a shadow line. And this is also gonna be part of my line. So I'm going to go over here. Let me see if I can do this. So the tricky part with lines is just trying to make it go into a full circle. Think of it like a full circle. Okay. Hey, Brenda. Hey, guys. Oh my gosh, Virginia. She says it's 720 AM in Sydney, Australia. Virginia, thank you for tuning in. And you are a day ahead of us. You are a day ahead. Do you like Practical Magic? Have you seen this movie? 
Okay, so I'm gonna make some of this lighter. And I'm just filling this in now, but in a second I'll put my lines back in. So don't worry. So I'm just kind of filling this in. Oh, my thing is moving. <laughs> oh, everybody's saying good morning, Virginia. <laughs> Yes, good morning to you. We're, we're on Friday night and she's already on Saturday morning. Isn't that so cool to think about? Like it's already Saturday morning where Virginia is at. She's starting her weekend and we're just ending our week, you know? It's kind of neat to think about. Okay, so I have the line there. Now I'm just going to dab this off and just put some, some lines going out. And again, I just wanted to say, for all of y'all that share my videos, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate you. Um, you know, it's just been insane. We, we keep thinking, you know, this year, we just keep thinking about how, how even in the midst of all the, the, the craziness that's going on in the world, God has been so good. And so I just want to say um, just a quick thank you because I know even if you never, like, you know, do paint party headquarters or you don't even, you know, join the fall ball, which is totally fine. Just by y'all being here, watching the videos, sharing, all of that, like, makes such a big difference for us. And I just really, really appreciate y'all more than you know. Okay, so I'm just kind of adding this. Okay, so I just kind of added a little bit. I'm going to add just a little bit more. You could, you know, put ice in there, make it look like it has some ice. I'm actually gonna make it look like it has salt in just a second. And I'm also gonna add some white highlights. Oh, good. So yeah, so Virginia is ready for the fall ball. So you'll be watching, so you'll probably be doing like 11 a.m. for us. Oh, thank you, Francine. Okay, so we have that. That's gonna add some stuff in just a second. But what I wanna concentrate on next is an umbrella, okay? Umbrellas may feel simple, but does anybody else here have struggles painting an umbrella? <laughs> I know I sometimes really struggle with painting an umbrella, and I'm actually going to be painting it sideways, so please give me some grace. So I'm just gonna do basically a, a frowny face. And again, those of you that have crickets or silhouettes or cutters, you can literally, literally just do all of that stuff, you know? Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, Carol says she's in the fall ball, but she can't find the announcements. So if you're on your phone, Carol, um, the announcements are, are right there like you know when you're looking at the fall ball group there's like a, it says photos albums announcements all of that if you're on your desktop it's literally on the left side and then every single thing including the replays of the the fall ball all of that you'll have access for an entire year to watch them but honestly guys I really want y'all to paint with me because um like I said, we're going to be giving away prizes the whole time. We have a grand prize at the Archon Mount, too. So, yeah. So, if you want to know more about it, just type link and you'll get all the info. Okay. So, I just brought a simple. I'm going to do another. I'm going to attempt to do another umbrella here. So, a frowning face. And, again, I'm just trying to add some elements of practical magic without copywriting the movie. I'm just trying to, again, be inspired. Inspired by practical magic without, you know, painting their practical magic movie poster. Just trying to be inspired and then add my take to Midnight Margaritas. Okay? And then I'm going to do another umbrella over here. So somebody told me this. I, I'm not really good at, like, um, home decor, like decorating. Like, I feel like I can paint a picture, but when it comes to designing like a home, um, it's not really, it's, I don't know if y'all have that. Like a lot of times people assume if you're an artist, you're automatically a designer. 
And that is not true for me. <laughs> I know my skill set, and that is not true for me. I have um, friends and family that are super good at it, but that's just not been my, my strength. But one time somebody told me that they learned in design to either have three or five. Is that true? Have y'all heard that? Is that true? Um, three or five. So, so I'm trying to do three umbrellas or five, like instead of doing like an even number. So if you're putting out like a, an image or a picture, sometimes people will say have three or five. I don't know. That's what, that's what I heard. Don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure if that's a thing. Okay, so we have the umbrellas. Now I'm just going to kind of add in some of this so it goes with it. Just a little bit of outlining. And then, like I said, if I don't see your comments, um, please, we're going to try to go back through them. Also, if you have already paid for the fall ball and you can't seem to figure out where to go, just email support at paintpartyheadquarters.com and just say, hey, I'm in the fall ball. I can't figure out where to go, and here's the email I paid with, and then um, we will get you in. Okay, so I'm just outlining this a little bit, and then I'm going to add some salt and then some kind of some highlighting with some white, okay? Again, this is just to add some kind of just fun little squigglies, nothing major, okay? And then I'm gonna grab some white and do the same thing. Yeah, Danny says, I do the same thing about home de decor. I struggle with that. Yes, always an odd number, Judy says. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know that for a long time. And I was like, really? Does that really mean something? <laughs> I didn't know. I, didn't, I just was like, well, I like that. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this and just, again, kind of add some fun lines. And this is just, you know, really just kind of making it pop a little bit. And you could bring in a brush with a little bit more white. So I have my messy greens. I'm just going to kind of go with a little bit more green, but just kind of make it go in there. Oh, got the black in. That's all right. We'll just work with it. Okay, that'll work. And then I'm going to add a little bit more white to this line. We just want it real, obviously this isn't a realistic painting. We just want it real whimsical and fun. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see how, because this is on canvas and my cutter machine kind of has it a little bit to where it's not exactly perfect, I'm gonna clean that up with a lime green. So I'm gonna take a, kind of like a liner brush, this may be a little too thick, we'll see. And I'm just gonna go on one side of it and just kind of clean it up a little bit. And I'm going to make sure I have a lot of paint on my brush because that lime green can be a little bit translucent and I don't want it to have a translucent look. So I could do this with white, I could do this with this green like I'm doing, pretty much anything just to not only kind of clean up the lines, but also add some depth to these words because look at the difference already just with that little bitty bit. So little bitty bit. Laura says, I can't draw. I love the home decor, painting and crafty stuff, but I can't draw. Yeah, and you know, drawing, I, I love to draw. And I don't, I love to paint more than I love to draw, but um. But yeah, it just takes practice, like everything, right? When we're starting something new, I think we always think that it should automatically just come natural. And then we have to remember, like, we all have a, a time when we weren't, you know, that good at something. We have to practice. And I think in today's time, a lot of times we, if we don't get something right the first time, it's like, we're not good at that, let's stop. And I think we have to, 
forget. You know, we have to we have to forget that um, just because everything is so automatic with phones and computers and technology, we still have to remember like we're human. We learn. I I like to think you know sometimes remember that doll that Furby. Does anybody remember the Furby doll? And it's like they start to learn, you know, <laughs> they learn things. And I, I think of, you know, us sometimes like we're like a Furby, you know, like we're going to learn stuff and we're going to get better at it. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to actually just try this. I'm going to keep it with green. I'm going to do a little bit of the darker green on the bottom. Let's see what happens. A little bit of the darker green with the lime, the lime and the coconut. Okay, all right, so we have this going on here, and then, Pixie, will you turn that down just a tad? I think I can, I think I can hear the, the TV, it's like, Okay, so I'm just kind of going over it and then bringing this over. And I wanted to just show you how you can kind of clean something up with something very, very simple. Just adding that to it, okay? So I just wanted to show you um, just a very, very simple painting um, in honor of one of my favorite movies, Practical Magic. And let me know what you think of this painting, if you like it, if you think it would be fun for something um, for like a paint party night or something like that. And then also, I just want to quickly remind y'all, and um, for those of you that are interested in learning um, how to do, you're, you're officially invited to the fall ball. And um, this will be kind of like the last time I go live about it because we start on Tuesday. So if you want to learn how to paint this, and you want to learn how to paint this, this is called Witches Be Crazy, a painting I came up with. And then, and it's canvas, so it looks like it's on wood, but I'm gonna teach you how to make it look like it's on wood. And then um, I'm gonna teach you this one as well. So the moon may seem very intimidating, but I promise you it's not. I can help you the whole way through. And then on day three, so all you have to do is type this, type link, and it'll give you all the info. And then on day three, for those of you that have been following me for a while or you're brand new to me, um, you know, here's the thing about like the first two nights is all about paint parties. It's all about, you know, I'm teaching you how to paint. So literally we're not talking business. We are just having fun painting the witches be crazy and the, um, and the, the hoot of a harvest that we're calling it. So I want to, you know, just basically tell you like the first two nights, invite your friends over, invite your um, your aunt, your grandma, your, your kids, whatever you want. Again, it's $10. You can literally like let everybody sit around and watch me. I'm gonna be teaching you from a Facebook Live. So I want you to have it all drawn on and I teach you in that link. And when you click the link and you pay for it, you're gonna get access to that group. Like I said, we have over 2000 people doing this with us. And then I'm gonna be teaching you step by step. And then those of you that are like, hey, I kind of love to be crafty, or I'm thinking about making some extra money with my art, or you're doing some fun stuff, you are not gonna wanna miss day three, because day three, I'm actually teaching you how to do a Facebook ad. And so for those of you that don't want to know the business side, good news, $10, day one and day two is all about paint parties. And all about actually you're in a paint party with me. I'm going to be teaching you how to paint. And then day three, those of you that are like, oh man, that seems pretty cool. Like I did as, you know, better on my witch than I thought I would or whatever it is. Or, you know, the ow, oh, I didn't realize I could do that. And then I did. And I want you to stay for day three because I'm going to be teaching you how to run a Facebook ad. And for those of y'all that um, have always like maybe boosted a post or you were unsure how to do a Facebook ad, and this, you probably found me because of a Facebook ad. So it is invaluable. So the $3.33 that you're paying for day three is so, so worth it. And again, if you're not ready for that step yet, you can just 
see the possibilities, see what it is, um, see what it's about, because you're, you never know, like, you know, it may hit you in another month and you're like, hey, I really wanna do that and learn something like that. You know, we're actually releasing in our Paint Party Headquarters group, which opens on September 13th, we're releasing a challenge just in that group called Make Money Now. And it's something that I'm experimenting with right now that um, is going to help Paint Party Headquarters members make a lot of money. So I'm really, really excited about that. And, and again, this is something that anybody can do. Um, you just have to be willing to go live. You just have to be willing to push live. So if you've been nervous or scared about it, um, I want you to try it out. And, and again, if you don't wanna know the business side, you're in luck because day one and day two is all about just painting. So go ahead and type link. And if you type link, you'll get all the details so you can see what the fall ball is about. We've been calling calling y'all fall ballers. Anybody that's a fall baller, let me know. And then um, in, in that is, wait, in that's a, and Ned said, I think I said that right. I hope I said it right. She says, could you teach us how to paint the fall truck with pumpkins and sunflowers? Oh, that would be so fun. I actually have a really cool fall truck um, I may be doing soon. And I have something really cool that I'm gonna do on, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. I have a really cool sunflower design that I'm gonna be painting that I have never ever done before on this um, surface. So it's gonna be completely new that you'll be able to, to check out. Oh, Landa says, y'all fall baller here. <laughs> yes, we got some fall ballers. All right, guys, I'm glad you're here. Let me know if you like this. And those of y'all that are sharing, I appreciate you more than you know. And we'll pick somebody in the next few days. Um, and we'll send you a message and we'll send you out a gift card. So thank you for that. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.